In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to make changes to your Amazon product listing in bulk using a flat file. So you'll be able to make changes to your title, bullet points, product images, descriptions, anything else. And flat files look intimidating, but it's honestly a lot easier than trying to make changes on your inventory tab in Amazon Seller Central and getting a bunch of error codes. And so in this tutorial, I'll show you how to download the correct flat file, uh, make all the changes necessary, and of course, upload it safely onto Amazon. And this is a new channel of mine. And so if you could help me out, hit the like button. And if just one person subscribes to my channel from this video, I'll continue to post Amazon FBA content every week. So please hit the like button, comment down below if you wanna see any other videos. And of course, subscribe, let's dive in. Okay, so step one is going to be download the correct product template because depending on what category your product is in, the information will be different on each product flat file. So you need to download the correct one. To do that, you're gonna click this top left button, catalog, add products via upload, and then click the box where it says update product details, get product template, and then click product template. Okay, I got it. Now you need to search for your product. Uh, you could search by keywords. So um, this one, my example product will be the my carrot butterfly knife product toy. And this is where Amazon is guessing uh, what category it's in. It's actually not in either of these. And this is a really, really important part. So I always like to just browse via product category. It's a lot easier to do this way and I highly recommend doing it like this. Uh, but you need to start by looking and figuring out, okay, what category it's in and then going from subcategory down there. I've done this so many times so that I, I know where it's at, but just to kind of show you how to do this or what this actually looks like, this product category or my product is actually in the gag toys and practical jokes subcategory, which is in novelty and gag toys, which is in toys and games. A couple ways that you can actually uh, do, you can start by searching for your product on Amazon. And when you scroll down under the product details, it should show you what subcategory it's in. I don't know why, but for some reason on my like browser, it doesn't show it. But if I open up an incognito window, then it'll look something like this right here, this box, and it'll say gags and practical joke toys subcategory. I don't know why this is, but this is what it looks like. And if you click that link, it'll show it to you like this. Anyways, if I go and search for toys and games, I'm gonna go to novelty and gag toys and then gag toys and practical jokes. This is the correct category nod, super, super important. Next, uh, I'm going to scroll down and then click generate template. Now it's downloaded. If you have Excel, you can use Excel, but if you don't, then you can use Google spreadsheets. It's a lot easier, but there will be a couple things different that you should pay attention to. So first I'm gonna go into my uh, Google drive, click new, and then open up a new spreadsheet. Uh, go ahead and click file on the top left and do not click import. If you do this, it will not upload correctly. So what you're gonna wanna click is open so that it'll open uh, the same way on Google spreadsheets as it would Excel. Click upload, browse, my downloads, and then uh, it's right here. Now, let me review each tab with you. This is a basic instructions on how to actually do uh, this correctly. This is a tab that explains how to upload pictures correctly. Um, this template tab that I'm gonna jump to, this is where you fill out each piece of information correctly. So if I open up my product listing on Amazon Seller Central and I click edit, it should look something like this. And notice here's like my title, my item name, my brand name, my external ID. If I go back to my spreadsheet, each of these columns is each of those pieces of information. So like here's my item name or my title, my brand name. So this is all what shows exactly on your Seller Central, but it's uh, just in an Excel format, which makes it kind of a lot easier in my opinion. Now. If you're not sure what to put on certain cells, you can go to data definitions and it will show you everything uh, as far as like, here's the name, the label, accepted values, here's an example. And uh, also, I also recommend clicking this top left button and then clicking this uh, create a filter. So what you can actually do is uh, categorize by required fields if you'd like to. So I can click clear, scroll down, required if I want to, I will not for this example. Next, uh, some of these drop down menus, like so if I click that drop down button, it doesn't have uh, options to pick from. On Excel, it does. That This is what it looks like. I don't know if you can see this, hopefully you can, but I took a picture. Uh, this top image is on Excel and when I start filling it out, <clears throat> It'll show like red cells where I need to fill in more information. Um, and when I click the drop down, it'll show what to put. 
not on Google spreadsheets. Not sure why. So what you can do is let's say for example, my external product type ID. I'm like, well, okay, well, what options do I have? I can go to valid values and then go to my external product ID and it accepts an EAN, which is a European barcode, GTIN or UPC. All right. Those are just, you know, some of the uh, different things on here. And then of course, here's my uh, subcategories and then examples. So let's actually just start by uh, filling this out. A couple things I recommend opening up your product listing on a different tab, just like this and copy and pasting, copy and paste exactly how it is on your seller account. If there's one little thing, if there's a capitalized letter in seller central and you put it uncapitalized here, it's incorrect. If it's uh, if there's extra space, incorrect. If this is like writing computer. It's like being a computer engineer, like writing code. If there's one little piece that's wrong, then the whole thing's messed up. It has to be the exact same as what's on Amazon Seller Central. So to get my product SKU, I can uh, go in on uh, on here and find that, copy and paste that in. Now I want to explain what this is. Record action, full update. There's three options. You can click a full update, a partial update, or a delete. Full update means that you are creating a brand new listing inside Amazon Seller Central and your inventory tab, meaning you haven't created it before, it's brand new. You just bought the barcode, you're creating for the first time. Partial update means that you are editing or uh, you know what this is, example is, we're just gonna correct or fix the title. So if you wanna edit the title, put partial update, or if you wanna delete a listing, you could put delete. Next, it's going to be in the toys and games category and then my item name. So I will just come back in here, double click all this, command C on a Mac, come back in, paste it, my brand name. So I'm gonna fill all this out just real quick. And also I wanna just kind of note real quick, you can either click the cell and copy and paste it in, which is on a Mac is command V. I believe on a PC it's control uh, CMB, or you can click this top bar in here, paste it in, and then hit tab to move to the next one. There's some extra space, so I'm just gonna move backspace on that. Um, and then item type keyword, this is going to be what subcategory it's in. Now, there's so many options on here. I'm not sure why, um, but not all, like I'm not in the subcategory of dollar accessories. So once again, I'm just gonna create a filter and I'm gonna rank these from uh, alphabetical order and just so I can find mine a little bit uh, easier, which here it is, copy that. And let's go back to the spreadsheet, paste it in. Now, here's something to know. If you are correcting or editing just your product title, you do not need to uh, put in your bullet points, your description, stuff like that. All you need are these pieces of information. You don't need to put this, anything in here. Uh, you don't need to put in like, let's, let's look through here real quick. You don't need to put in your manufacturer name, your model number. You don't need to put in your price point, anything like that. I feel like it's important to know that you just need this basic information. Now, if you wanted to update your bullet points or your um, age description, that's gonna be right here. Uh, here's the, the size, color, like everything is in here that you need to correct. Now, if you're gonna do variations, which I show you in a different video, this is where you would put that information as well. You need to be careful about messing up any kind of formulas that's already pre-written in here. If you make any mistake, just click this back arrow and undo it. Don't like backspace because you don't want to mess any of the uh, formulas that are already pre-written out inside of here. So once you've made all the changes that you want to make, what you're going to do is click file, download, and then you want to download as a TSV file. So I'm going to hit that. And then let's go back into our uh, seller account. X out of there and let's upload this spreadsheet. Toys, here's my downloaded. And after it's uploaded, submitted, then you can come into the spreadsheet upload status and it will show in here. Now, if you have any errors or issues, then I recommend it'll show you like what exactly the issue is, the error code, and then you can go in and fix it. I recommend always referring back to the data definitions and seeing what exactly they want in the cell. Now, if it comes to a point where you are just kind of losing it and you're like, I've tried everything. Uh, what else can I do? Open up a case log, but you need to be smart about this. Say, hey, I'm having an issue fixing or updating my product listing and then refer ASIN, co copy and paste your ASIN in there and then copy and paste the batch ID into the message 
so that they have a reference, you're going to shorten the feedback loop so much faster instead of going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. So those are a few of my recommendations. Anyways, I hope this has been helpful for you. If you have any additional questions about this, feel free to comment down below. And uh, of course, like this video, help the algorithm, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.